Hey guys, Stephen here, and we're back to another Roblox tutorial. And on this tutorial, uh, this is a continuation on how to create your UI, the UI creation guide that we're doing. And on this video, I'm going to teach you the UI grid layout. This is mostly used on Roblox inventories or the game that in where you have those inventories. Of course, this does not include code just a UI grid layout all about UIs let's start so if you notice I have a screen GUI a frame and the text label here uh, we previously talked about it uh, on a separate video uh, the same playlist so this doesn't have to be a text label it can be a image label image button a text button but for the video I'm using text label and what we're I'm about to teach you is UI grid layout. Now what does this do? Let's just make this center probably. Now what does the UI grid layout do? If you notice it kind of change the text label. So this grid layout makes a grid on the entire frame like the the one who's parent is this if I put this on screen GUI it's gonna put the whole frame or the whole children under a UI grid layout so I'm gonna use the frame to give an example of it so I have here a text label called lemon now if I'm gonna let's start with removing this and if I duplicate this nothing really happens it's just stay on the same place have those stuff but as soon as I paste the UI grid, it becomes like this. So basically, it's an automatic layout of Roblox on UI. It's pre-configured, and you can configure it using the cell padding and the cell size. I'm going to briefly discuss it, and you can play with it afterwards. So the usual, let's take off all those offset. So the padding on X means the spaces in between these lemons. Let's start with 0.1. If you notice, this is the paddings which is on the X. So if you want it to be smaller, go on smaller number. If you want it larger, go to a, a larger number. But don't make the grid layout like sideways because like something like this. We have what we call UI list layout and we're going to discuss it on separate video. So I would recommend if you're on a grid layout, it can this can be 2 by 2 at most, but don't do it like a list layout because we have a separate layout like that and I'll discuss that on a separate video. And actually you can click the link down below for it. So let's say let's do point 1 and this is the one which is the y-axis so if you notice I have let's make this point two or maybe point three so I have no spaces in between for from top to bottom so if I add this one there would be a grid layout now uh, if I have a f another frame inside this text label it would make a nicer view actually it's on a round function but if you make it like there's got to be a border or you can make it under an image frame so there's a background something like that it's for usually used for inventory purposes and the cell size if of, is of course how large you want the size of the text label or the image button or whatever you have here let me show you an example let's remove the offset so the x value is of course from left to right and the y value is from top to bottom so let's make it 0 0.05 and if i make it 0.1 then 0.1 it's gonna have those semicircular shape closer to what it it originally was so that's how the cell size work so the padding is the spaces and the cell size is the actual size of your label or whatever you have under the children of 
the parent of the UI grid layout and the fill direction is vertical and horizontal for vertical it's gonna be like the UI list layout so I would highly suggest just use the list layout not the grid layout if you want a vertical one and horizontal the usual fill direction max is if I set this to 2 it's just gonna limit it to 2 if I set it to 1 it's gonna limit it to 1 and horizontal align uh, this is it, where you want to start. If I start on the right, it's going to start on the right. And if I want it to be centered, it's going to be uncentered. And same stuff on this bottom left, bottom right, top right. Meaning the, the number one is if I have it on bottom right, the number one would be around here. If I have it on top right, the number one would be here so basically where you want to what corner you want to start that very corner would be the one and the vertical alignment is just where you want it to be usually you put it on the center but of course you can be creative if you want to put it on the bottom and then you have a nice little tile up above along those lines so I hope you learned something on UI grid layout and if you if you found value on this kind of videos, we do upload daily and press that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, comment down below and uh, you can also reach out to us at ProLemonGames.com if you need any help on game creation, chat with us. I hope you learned something today and catch you in another video. Bye-bye.